Hi guys and welcome to another video and this week we are looking at a big Roman toilet known today by the ridiculous name of Halsteds this is Roman Vercovicium forget about all this Halsteds stuff it, the real name is Vercovicium something like that and in the bottom southeast corner of the fort we have the best preserved big Roman toilet in the whole of the UK. Our Roman overlords were big on sanitation. Here in the southeast corner, we can see the big Roman toilet. Spring fed, water ran underground and was retained in these large tanks that you can see here. And this ensured that there was a constant flow of running water running into the channels that you can see down the sides of the big Roman toilet area. Long since gone, wooden benches ran down each side. The Roman soldiers and other inhabitants of the fort could come in here, sit on the bench and then defecate and urinate uh, through a hole in the bench. Uh, their products would then be washed by that flow of water out of the fort. Some experts think that the stalls were then collected and used as manure. But we do note that uh, where it is flowing out is right at the top end of what became the Vicus, which possibly wasn't so pleasant for those guys. You can see in the ground in the big Roman toilet some holes, and these are believed to be uh, stick holes. The Romans didn't have Andrex. Each uh, individual had their own stick with a sponge on the end of it for cleaning themselves after a movement. And it's believed that these holes are where they planted their stick whilst they were doing their business. The large stone bowls that you can see were used for washing hands. I don't know, maybe also washing those sticks. And incidentally, you may have heard that expression, something along the lines of getting the wrong end stick and that is long held to be uh, to come from the use of these sponge sticks by the Romans. We don't know if that's actually true, uh, it might be a Now this communal type of latrine must seem odd ooh, to our British sensibility. The idea of sitting there passing a stall basically whilst chatting about the news, the weather and some fault based gossip. The exposed stone that you can see today would have been covered with plaster. And you can just imagine the cheeky Latin graffiti, the lavatorial humour that would have appeared there. Bojo would have loved it if he'd have been alive in those days, and I really wish he had been. Three things on YouTube matters this week. First of all, I'm filming in HDR as opposed to 4K. Looking at YouTube, some of the younger vloggers seem to like that. So uh, let me know what you think about this HDR look in the comments down below. Located on Hadrian's wall, there are some stretches of the wall behind me up there that you're actually allowed to walk on. Uh, although that doesn't seem to make any difference to some of the brats here today who are walking on everything seemingly with impunity. Secondly, on YouTube Matters, I'm doing a new mic thing. I'm still using the DJI mic, but rather than having that big box bending my type in, I've got a lav uh, attached to it, a purple panda lav. Guys, I'm gonna make sure this video ends really slickly this week. I've worked out how to do it. You may have noticed our woke filter. I'm gonna activate that so there'll be no more fumbling around and embarrassment anymore. And our third YouTube point is that we are celebrating our 69th subscriber and it is none other than Tweedy Outdoors, a YouTuber whom we greatly admire. Fantastic content and brilliant taste in clothes. Thanks uh, Tweedy Outdoors and welcome to the channel. But we need more, we need more. Please like, please like and subscribe. Now let's take a look around the rest of this amazing place with an appropriate musical accompaniment.
guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, the big Roman toilet. And I'm gonna make this video end slickly this week by activating the woke filter. So I'm gonna say something inappropriate. Great big go- Now I've got it back, we can do this week's Roman joke, and this week it is a contribution from Tracy Ward Spratt. I don't really get it, if I'm honest, but uh, here goes. So you're talking to someone who's got a bit of a big hooter, and here goes. Hey, you've got a Roman nose. No, I haven't, they say. Oh, yes, you have. It's Roman all over your face. <laughs>